Hi everyone, we're going to go over today the uh, pieces, the major ones in particular the queen and rook and also the king. So first we're going to look at the rook. So how does that rook move? What are its powers and abilities? Well, for the rook, uh, its power and ability is the ability to move horizontally, left to right, to right, or right to left. And also the ability to move up and down, or down and up, and that's uh, the vertical lines. So, or you could think of it, you know, the rook moves along ranks and files, right? That's more appropriate. Uh, so, like looking at this position, we have a rook on e4, and that rook on e4 attacks a lot of squares. You know, if you count, like tally up, count based on the rules of that rook being able to move horizontally and vertically, you can count that rook can move to uh, d4. That's one, d3, or I'm sorry, c4. You can even move to b4, and also a4 on the left side. That rook can also go to f4, and also g4, giving a check to the king, and also h4, and uh, that that rook can also go uh, downwards. Rook e3, rook e2, and rook e1, and uh, that rook can also go outwards. You know, it can go to e5 if it wants to. E6, Rook E7, or even play Rook to E8 will check to the king. So that's how the Rook moves, okay? So it can attack uh, left, right, up and down. So that's how it attacks and occupies space. Now, how it captures, right? So you want to know how it captures. Well, let me give you some examples, okay? Uh, let's see. The knight here, we have a queen, we have uh, the bishop, we might have the rook here. Okay, let's do this. So look at this position here. That rook, since we know about the special abilities that the rook are being able to move horizontally, left to right, or vertically from uh, up, up down, you, you know that that rook can travel to that side. If it wants to travel to the left, it can actually take that bishop on b4. So you would say rook captures the bishop or rook x b4 okay or x b4 if you were to write it on notation uh, form and if you want to attack in, to the right if there's a piece that you can take like the queen for example you would say r x h4 okay so that's how that rook captures now you want to capture that rook on the bottom you would say r x e2 okay because that rook is on e2 for black now you want to take that knight on e6, right? You would say R X E6, okay? So that's how uh, a rook captures material. It doesn't capture diagonally like the bishop, okay? It doesn't capture like the L, like the knight. That's not it, its ability, okay? It doesn't go one square or you know or capture diagonally one square or move like the pawn, okay? This one has a different unique power and ability. Now we're gonna look at the queen now. Let's look at the queen when it's centralized. A centralized queen, okay? Oh, let's see. Okay, let's make sure. Okay, we have it here. The queen on e4, right? The queen, now you're wondering, how how much does this queen, uh, how powerful is this queen? Is this queen weak or, or strong? Well, it turns out the queen is powerful. Very strong and very powerful. Uh, now, we looked at the rook, right? That queen has the power and ability like a rook, Okay? And also, one other difference is that that queen has a power and ability to play like a bishop. So, it's uh, it has two abilities, you know, abilities, uh, the power of the rook and bishop. So that's the main point. And uh, that that rook that we just went over, right? That piece is worth five points. Now that queen, if you tally up, right, the bishop's worth three and the rook is worth five. It's going to be close enough to 8 points, right? But in fact, that, that queen, uh, according to theory, the chess theory, it's somewhere along the lines of 9 points, okay? Now, there's some other uh, theoreticians and experts of the game, uh, grandmasters who believe that that queen is actually worth about 10 points or that one. I've heard some uh, opinions of that. But yeah, so 
that queen has the ability to attack, right? And control occupy all the way diagonally all the way to a8 if it wants it and all the way to h1 okay that's a power of that queen and also on that side uh, all the way to b b1 and attack diagonally all the way to uh, h7 and it also attacks that as it like a rook right it can attack going downwards all the way to e1 all the way up to e8 if it wants it and it also attacks all the way to a4 and all the way to h4 okay uh, horizontally left and right so that's how powerful that queen is. Now, you really tally up the number of squares that queen attacks, right? It attacks, what, 6 here, 7 here, 13, right? 13 and 7 here, that's uh, how much? 20, right? And then 7 here, that's 27. It attacks 27 squares when it's centralized, okay? That's how important that queen and how powerful it is. So whenever you play a game of chess, always remember to centralize your pieces, okay? Especially, uh, you know, your minor pieces first. Knights first, bishops, then, you know, bring out your uh, pawns, your attack the center, of course, and look to castle your king. We're gonna cover that more in detail, but there's a rule behind it. And then, you know, you move your rook out of the game, uh, move the queen first in order to connect the roots into the game, but we'll, we'll go for it more in detail. But for now, you know, just knowing how the pieces move, right? That's important. Okay, so th this is how this piece captures. Okay, let me show you guys. So, so based on the knowledge, right? Based on the knowledge of um, what this rook, uh, what this queen can do, which is the power of the uh, rook and the power of. Uh, Let's see, power of the bishop, you know. Okay, now for example, this queen, right? This queen alone on e4 attacks one piece. You, if you want, okay, let's count, right? You can attack and win that, that knight if you want to. Queen takes c4. You can take the rook on h4 if you want to. Rook takes h4. You can even take that rook on g3. Look at that. That's how powerful that queen is. You're utilizing the power of the rook and bishop. And you can also take that bishop on e6 if you want to. Well, queen takes e6. But the very best move for black in this, oh, for white, I'm sorry, for white in this situation is actually to take diagonally with a queen, right? Because the queen is worth nine points, okay? Now remember, the queen is worth nine, that knight's worth three, that bishop's worth three, that rook is worth five, okay? Now we're going to look at the king now, the power of the king, right? What, what exactly does a king do in a game of chess? Well... This is what the king does, okay? The king has a power and ability to move just one square. Right? Like king e2, king e7, and it can go to king d3, maybe king to e6, and it can even go backwards if it wants to, like king c2, or king to f7. So that's the power of the king. The king has the ability to move one square forward, one square backwards, or one square uh, sideways, okay? Left, right? No, just one square. But... It is the most important piece of the game. Always remember that. The object of the game is to do what? To checkmate your king. Or checkmate your opponent's king. To be exact. So that's the whole point you know, of a game of chess. And you want to checkmate the king. Okay? That's based on the rules of the game. So that king is a special piece. Because uh, you need to have it well protected if you want to uh, win the game. Uh, so that king, uh, in terms of point value... That king actually doesn't have any point value. It is priceless, okay? So, that's how uh, that king works. It can operate itself. Now, if, let's look at how it captures. Okay? Let me show you guys an example. Let's say, for example, we have here, right? Let's say white to move, right? This is what white can do, right? Let's just say uh, he decides to uh, want to use the king, right? Let's just say he's going to take the king, right? Uh, take the knight. So, he could do that. Like he can take king takes c3, okay? That's what he can do. Take that knight, and that's how the king captures. And for black state, right, black to move, he can actually take that uh, rook if he wants to, right? King takes rook. So you see that? Looking at that, that's an example of how the, the king captures the you know, material. Okay? All right. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys learned something about how the major pieces work and the values of each one. So we will um, continue on uh, some more with... Uh, the basics of the game of chess okay uh pretty soon just take it easy have a great day